Uh, so I was asked to um, do a video on how to um, set up Zoom with Infusionsoft. So the first thing that you want to do in your um, app is uh, do two things. Firstly, you want to set up an internal form. Uh, so I've put one here that looks like this. The internal form must contain at minimum a meeting date and time. So this will be a custom field and the duration. I've done the duration as a drop down list. You could also include in here if you wanted a field for um, what the title of the meeting is going to be, but that should be the minimum. And in a campaign, you should have that triggering the tag that you want to uh, create the campaign or to, to make the trigger action in Zapier. So I'd suggest something like this. Uh, this is the actual internal form, which is then going to add the tag. Um, and then you want to uh, remove the tag probably so that you could uh, re-trigger it multiple times. So then you might have the confirmed appointment as in it's been booked in, um, in Zoom and then removed. So something like that is what you would want to have as your sequence for this. And then once you have completed this form, which as I said, it's got two minim at minimum custom fields. One is um, a custom field for meeting time and date and the length of the call. So over in Zapier, you want to make sure that your two apps, Infusionsoft and Zoom, are hooked up, uh, that you add in the tag, which at the moment I've got clicked to schedule, and that this is only uh, that this is not set to yes trigger for the first time. Um, make sure that you add it to a test contact so that you can test it at this point. You can see I've used one of my Gmail addresses, and then you connect up your second app, which is Zoom, and it's to create a meeting, not a registrant in a webinar. Uh, connect up the account, and then we start filling in the details. So here we're going with meeting, not webinar. Uh, we are then here, this is what I was saying about the topic of the meeting, the title of the meeting. So I've just called it meeting, and then I've put in the contact first name, contact last name. Equally, you could have that as a custom field and then just pre-populate it with that here. This is the custom field that I created for the meeting date and time. I've set my time zone. Um, the easiest way to find these, by the way, is to type in here and then it will come up with the uh, fields with that date if you've got a lot of custom fields. Uh, and then this is the drop down for the duration. So if I now do a test on that and send data, you can now see in uh, my Zoom here, here it is, it's from doing my test here, Lisa Cato meeting here. So it's put my, it's pulled in my first name and last name. Now what you might want to do at this point is then go back to Infusionsoft. Um, what am I doing here? We want to update a contact. Now the thing is, the reason you can't do this the other way around is when you're doing it from Zoom, there's no email address for it to go and look up in Infusionsoft uh, to be able to, um, to apply it to a refer. That's why we're doing it this way around. So here we're going to go and look up uh, the email address and we're not going to do action set. We're going to check for duplicate always by email address, opt-in, might as well set that to yes. Um, we don't need any of this. What we want to do is we want to apply a tag. Um, let's say call scheduled. And then that is the tag that we're going to apply back in Infusionsoft here. So this would be the call scheduled tag. Um, and then of course you can also send the reminders uh, to the client at this point as well or to yourself you can also if you want create a custom field to save the zoom link in if you have a look you'll see that the options to pull back information from um, zoom you actually have the link here so you can use that to fill an email 
if you um, put it into a custom field. In fact, uh, let's have a look. I think I've got one. So here, for example, is when I used to use GoToMeeting way back when. You could put that link in there, and then you can use that as a merge field in an email as well. So just whizzing back up to the top here, just to confirm what we've done is we've gone and looked up the contact. Uh, we are now adding the call scheduled tag, which will trigger in the campaign, and then any and we're also saving the link. So that's that done. And then that is all ready to switch on. So here you might want to, as I said, put in the reminders to the client. Uh, again, if you wanted to, you could also add in here, add it to your Google Calendar or any other calendar that you've got hooked up here. Describe event, I would use the uh, topic of the meeting, um, the attendees you could use as whoever the contact record is here. Um, you could do a more detailed one as well and in, if you wanted to here as well you could also of course add in the Zoom link too, like that. There we are. So that will now add that to my Google Calendar as well. And there we can see it's added it into my Zoom calendar right there. So there we are. We've just hooked up uh, Infusionsoft to Zoom, updated Infusionsoft uh, with the Zoom meeting details so we can send update and added it to our calendar. Um, I think that's what you were looking for.